Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I have a rather kind of cool but sad video for you guys at the same time. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember the Ice Trapper I built like a week or two ago that I kind of showed you guys a little bit of content of. I've taken that character and I've leveled it to about 78 in Hardcore. And I have quite a few issues with the character, but I still think it'll be kind of cool to showcase for you guys because it is very visually pleasing. So first off, I want to go ahead and run a map. As you can see, we're level 78. I'm going to run a really shit pussy map because uh, this character is not tanky in any type of way. So it's basically a white primordial pool. But I want to show you the aesthetically pleasing things about this character. So first off, I want to state that the single target is really bad on this build. And it's actually really cheap to build because you don't really need anything. Um, you essentially just need a 5 link. So what I'm going to go ahead and start doing is I'm going to show you my links. So I've got added cold... Ice Trap, Cluster Trap, and Increased Critical Strikes, and that's on my Ice Trap right here. On my Deer Stalkers, I've got Added Cold, Cold Pen, Frost Bomb, Less Duration. I'd recommend swapping Cold Pen with Cluster Trap, uh, but make sure you're on DX11 or else you're going to crash your client. And then the main one, which is Vol Ice Nova, we've got Vol Ice Nova, Trap and Mind Damage, Increased Critical Strike Support, Trap Support, and increased area of effect. I don't know if these are the best links at all. This is just what I was playing with. Uh, I'm also using Rippling Thoughts and Divnaris as my weapon swap, well, as my weapons, mainly because I need to scale as much AoE as possible. And Rippling Thoughts is actually pretty cool because um, it gives me the Harbinger, which actually grants us Arcane Surge, and we cannot normally get Arcane Surge because we're playing Eldritch Battery. Uh, we have 100% of our, or 95% of our mana reserved, and we get our mana back and our life back and our ES back. Well, the mana doesn't matter, but through Tinker Skin, if you guys want to just look at this here. But Tinker Skin doesn't really synergize very well with all Ice Nova, but that's beside the point. Map clearing is like, I don't know, this is what I don't like about traps is all the missing here. <laughs> but uh, I was going to say, breaches are really fun and high density maps are pretty cool. Like, let me see if I can like... Let's see what we got here. Okay, don't freeze me. Alright, nice. So this would be Vol Ice Nova. And that was actually no crit. I originally did want to play this as a frost bomb trapper and found out that frost bombs delay is just way too it's just not fun to try to play with so i immediately removed that and told myself well maybe i can just clear with ice trap but ice trap still feels inconsistent it doesn't feel like it hits the whole pack all at once so i was like what on earth can i do to make this character more pleasing and i was like well how about vol ice nova um so vol ice nova was pretty cool and it does add like it's pretty fun but just, I don't know, the build's too squishy for me. There's just a lot of complications with it. Um, but I thought that maybe you guys would like something like this. Because this is very nice to see. Um, let's see what else we have. Do we have any more gigantic packs here? Not really. The single target is pretty poo-poo. Um... Since Ice Trap is only on a 4-link, and I'm not using Cluster Traps right now with my Frost Bomb. So, uh, get ready for the uh, single target. Here we go, boys. Let's do it. Is he still slamming? Okay, no, I got, I got really spooked there first. I was like, what?! <laughs>
All right, so that's pretty much uh, about it with the character. There are a bunch of different ways to play it, and I know you guys are probably going to ask me a bunch of questions on it, but I'm here to tell you that I'm probably not really going to be continuing this character. Like I said, I didn't really enjoy it too much. Um, I really like the Vol Ice Nova. It's just, I really just don't enjoy traps in the current meta. Um, I don't really like that CI got nerfed. I think it's, it's okay that CI got nerfed, but for playing builds like traps that needed it, uh, I think it was just... It just really sucked for them. Uh, I also don't really like having to travel to Scion Life Wheel and Templar for pretty much any shadow build I ever play. So maybe in the future I'll revisit traps again. Um, maybe, I don't know, if Fire Prolif gets adjusted or if life values get changed on the right side of the tree. I'm not really too sure. Um, so I don't know. I'm not really too sure exactly what we're going to see in the near future. So I might just prioritize focusing on builds on the left side of the tree because I just don't feel very comfortable playing the ones on the right side of the tree right now. But anyway, that's pretty much about it. Uh, I'll leave the character exactly as it is for like a week or maybe a couple days. So if you guys want to look at it, it's the character Pox Ice on my profile. You can see everything right here. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Uh, just to go over the rest of my links, um, you don't really need to have an Ice Trap cooldown recovery helmet, but I just wanted to go try hard and see how much I could get. So it's pretty nice. You can see the cooldown right here at the bottom. Uh, I've just got a typical amulet with life. The Halcyon amulet would be like super good damage. Two basic rings, nothing really special. Uh, deer skin boots because you get the extra five link uh, with the extra trap support. It's the standard belt, uh, some fingerless gloves for the spell damage, and that's pretty much about it. You want to make sure you're using uh, one chill of corruption so that you can get 50% chance at vol soul gain. Uh, if you want to get more trap trigger AOE, just use like a hair trigger right here or a hair trigger right here, and that'll be fine as well. And consider using a different chest piece because if you want to play Vol Ice Nova, you don't really need to use Tinker Skin. Tinker Skin is more for sustaining your traps, like throwing them like this, and it constantly replenishes your ES pool. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time. I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.